XE-47623. Welcome to Facility 7. Out of all the numerous scum that inhabit Death Row, you have been tagged as completely expendable, and you have therefore been placed here, in my care. I am William Keene, the warden of this facility, and the man in charge of the Experimental Weapons Program. In here, I will give you two options. Cooperation, or death. Facility 7, we believe in both punishing and rewarding prisoners. If you cooperate and somehow manage to succeed in every trial we place before you, your criminal record will be erased. From then on, you'll be free to ruin your life out in the real world once more. If you start falling behind, however, or make too many mistakes, we shall have no use for you, and your sentence will be carried out. Now, your first choice. Either you walk up to the door and enter the transit, or you can stay in here. If you choose to stay, we will fill the chamber with chlorine gas, and you will die a slow, agonizing death. You have one minute to make up your mind. Dr. Karen Womberg, the prison psychologist. That, however, is not really what's important right now. What is important is that you pay attention and learn quickly, or you won't make it far in this place.
this chamber, there is a device that you will need. It's still what the people upstairs call a prototype, but it should suffice for now. We call it a magnet gun, but I won't tell you how it works since no one here expects you to have an advanced knowledge of physics. Just do what most prisoners do. Push a few buttons and see what happens. I suppose a few words of warning are in order. That device will not only apply forces to objects around you, but you will also be affected. So the stronger the power setting on the magnet gun, the greater the force that pushes or pulls on you and the objects. When you are done playing around, just take the elevator, and I will guide you further in the next chamber. We do not wish to strain you just yet, so we'll start simple. A button and a box. This is all you need to worry about. Feel free to toss it around a bit before moving along. by now that the D-27 magnetic propulsion device can both attract and repel the objects you encounter. In the next chamber, you will also see how it can affect you. Here, though, it's more of the same. Boxes and buttons.